Hello friends, in this video we will discuss how the Planck's formula will reduce to Wien's formula at shorter wavelengths and to Rayleigh's Wien's formula at larger wavelengths. So we have already seen about Wien's law and Rayleigh's Wien's law and these laws are classical laws, classical theories that was developed to explain the black body radiation. These theories were somewhat successful in explaining the black body radiation at certain ranges of wavelengths. For example, Wien's theory was successful in explaining the black body radiation at small wavelengths. Similarly, Raleigh Jean's law was successful in explaining the spectrum of black body radiation at large values of wavelength. But neither of these theories could successfully explain the black body radiation spectrum fully. So it was in this context when the classical theories failed to account for a physical problem that the quantum theory was developed by Planck. And we have de derived the Planck's law of radiation. And the equation that we got for the energy density of radiation is E lambda D lambda is equal to which is the energy density it is equal to 8 pi hc 8 pi hc lambda raised to minus 5 divided by E raised to hc by lambda kt minus 1 D lambda. So this is the equation connecting energy density and wavelength of the radiation according to Planck's theory. Now let us see what will happen to this equation at small values of wavelengths. So for small wavelengths, small lambda, since lambda is very small, then this exponential factor e raised to hc by lambda kt, since lambda is very small, this fraction will be very large and this exponential term will be somewhat a large quantity. So when compared to this exponential term, we can neglect this 1 because 1 is a small number and compared to that this term is very high. So if I neglect this 1 from this equation since the other term is bigger, I will obtain an equation for energy density as E lambda D lambda is equal to 8 pi hc lambda raised to minus 5 into e raised to minus hc by lambda kt d lambda. That is I have brought this exponential term to the numerator and this minus 1 is neglected. So this is how this is what the Planck's law will be reduced into at smaller values of wavelengths. And as you can see this is the Wien's law. This equation is exactly the Wien's law. So we can see that the Planck's law reduces to Wien's law at smaller wavelengths and that is why the Wien's law was able to account for black body radiation at small values of wavelengths. But when we come into large values of wavelengths, the Wien's law is not true because we have neglected certain terms in the Planck's law when we assume the Wien's law. So Wien's law was developed separately by Wien. But we can see that it is same as Planck's law at small wavelength approximation. Now moving on to large values of wavelengths. Now let us see what will happen at large values of lambda. When lambda is large, we know this term hc by lambda kt will be very small. So e raised to hc by lambda kt is small value and you cannot neglect that term. So when e raised to x is very small, when x is very small, you know the exponential e raised to x can be expanded as a series term. e raised to x is 1 plus x plus x square, x square by 2 plus etc. And if x is very small, you can take the first two terms. That is e raised to x can be appro approximated as 1 plus x when x is small. So I will be using this approximation for large values of lambda because at large values of lambda this exponential factor this hc by lambda kt is very small. 
So, up, up, substituting for that, I will get e lambda d lambda is equal to 8 pi hc lambda raised to minus 5 divided by 1 plus hc by lambda kt minus 1 d lambda. So, this one term will get cancelled and this hc in the denominator and the numerator will get cancelled. So, the rest of the terms are 8 pi hc lambda raised to minus 5 multiplied by multiplied by lambda kt divided by hc. So, this term when comes when come on coming to numerator will be lambda kt by hc d lambda. So, we can see the constant hc will get cancelled and the remaining terms are 8 pi into lambda raised to minus 5 multiplied by lambda is lambda raised to minus 4 into kt d lambda. So, this is the equation for energy density at large values of wavelengths. This is the Rayleigh Jeans formula. So, you can see at large values of wavelengths, the Planck's radiation law reduces to Rayleigh Jeans formula. And that is why the Rayleigh Jeans formula was successful in explaining the black body radiation at large values of wavelengths. So, you can clearly see the Planck's law is a, includes a whole picture for all wavelength ranges. Whereas, the Wien's theory and Rayleigh Jeans law are successful in certain ranges of wavelengths alone. So, you can see that the Planck's law is same as Wien's law and Rayleigh Jeans law at suitable wavelength ranges. And here with this explanation, I hope it is clear that the classical theory are just two approximations of this quantum theory when it comes to the black body radiation. I hope this portion is clear for you. Thank you.